Ellis Mark, I'm sorry. I know you'll never see this video or hear my voice apologizing to you, but I would like to profoundly apologize for what I have done. The things I said or even reacted to in your animation, in your cartoon animated pilot, the things I said were not acceptable. I should not have made any of those jokes, any of those commentaries, or any of those critiques. N nothing that I said was even remotely valid. I understand that now. My opinion does in fact not matter. Even then, even if I had the right opinion, I didn't. I am sorry. I'm sorry for the viewers at home. I'm sorry at anybody who even glanced at the video with my unsavory commentary and my unsavory jokes. I apologize to Ellis Mark for making jokes about his relationship and calling him Ellis Cuck. I am sorry. I have not been able to sleep for weeks knowing that I have hurt another. I sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart for everything I said and everything I had done. How can I even call myself a human being anymore? For I have <laughs> wronged too many, too many people in this lifetime. And Ellis Mark is not going to be another. Once again, I would like to apologize to the viewers as well. I should not have made you sit through all of that. All 20 minutes. That is inexcusable behavior. The only 20 minutes you should experience is my sincere apology. Not because I think you have to, but because I should be apologizing for much, much longer for everything I said Every crass joke, every stupid comment, everything was idiotic. When I brought myself onto this earth, I knew that I could not bring in negativity. Negativity is an absolute crisis on this earth. And it's absolutely a shame that no one takes it seriously. Positivity is what should be spread around the earth. Joyness. Not positive diseases or such, but positive joyfulness. Because this earth, our time here, we should make the most of it. So forgive me and forgive my associates for making fun of this pilot, for being what it is. Because it is simply just an expression of one's character. Ellis Mark was just trying to express himself. And I just threw it away like it was nothing. As if I had any right to disparage anybody's soul. Their creative soul. Forgive me if I can't forgive myself for what I have done today. But I do not feel good at all. But I've trying to make up for what I did all those months ago. Ellis Mark, you are one of a kind. I have never met a cartoon creator as close to your fan base as you are. Your cartoon pilot is immaculate, for it gets done everything you wanted it to do. It's an absolutely mesmerizing piece of artistry. And what you and your team have been able to create, I should have seen it for the joy that it was. For the gift on the planet that it was. And I am sorry. As people will remember this pilot and the subsequent show that will come after it for years and years to come. Why am I making this apology? Because I've realized the error of my ways. There is no point of adding all this needless... Well, how do you even say this? Uh, needless complications in life. To complain about something 
and see it rightfully get disliked, it's humbling to say the least. Because then you realize, I realize, I'm not the greatest person either. I realize now that we are all making mistakes in our journey in life. And this cartoon is not a mistake on anybody's life. Because it took effort. It took guts to make this. This is somebody's soul. Somebody's heart that's been put out there. And I throw it away. And I ruin it. And I desecrate it. For what reason? For what purpose? For needless entertainment for 20 minutes? No one will remember me. But everyone will remember you, LS Mark. You are a one-of-a-kind person, as I've said previously. And I say it again, because I truly, truly mean it. And I, and I want to say this to the viewers out there. You too are creative. You too are, as well, full of purpose and full of life. You can show this earth that you really do mean something. And that your opinion as well matters. Although some of you not, might not have been the nicest about it. Your voices were heard. And you were right. No matter what you said, you were all right. I had no reason to upload that video. And I am sorry. It saddens me that... I even made it that video at all. But I'll keep it up. So people do not make the same mistake that I have. My life hasn't been the greater since, ever since that video came out. I'll admit. And I think it's because... It really is emblematic of all the negativity that I've shared throughout my life. Constant negativity. Just constant. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. But I ended up hurting everyone. And even myself. Forgiveness. That's the key word here today. Forgive me. Forgive life. For everything it throws at you. As it is simply just taking you along the journey. And you're going down the roughest path right now. For anybody watching this video. And you don't feel satisfied with my apology. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't make it up to you because there are things that you just cannot make up on this earth. And I feel as if making fun of that cartoon was just plain wrong. It makes it so that it's one of the worst things a person can do. And I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. If I'm being honest, I didn't even think it was that bad. So why did I have to go and say all those awful, awful things? I can't even blame the other person in the video. They were just adding to the vibe in the room that I was creating. I complained about needless things such as... Intros being too long. <laughs> Jokes not making sense. When I realize now, I had no right to say any of that. Because... Okay. No, no, it's... Okay. Because... I don't know what it's like to struggle. And I didn't know what it was like to struggle. I feel as if I still don't. Even behind all my misdeeds. And everything I've gone through these past couple of months since the video's upload. I feel... As if I've gotten what I've deserved. And I can await much worse to come. This forgiveness that you will give me. If anyone will give it to me, Alice Mark. I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself anymore. What I did was irreprehensible. Oh my god. The cartoon looks good. It's all good. It's just not my kind of thing, and I feel awful for saying that. But it really isn't. It's not. 
It's really not my kind of show. And that's okay. I should have realized that. And I made fun of everything about it. I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I... If there's anything I can say, I just hope somebody will <laughs> forgive me. And if you don't, that's fine. But I really do think that there's something in this show for all of us. Sure, the hi there joke might not have landed that hard. Or at all. But that does not mean that I had to go around and dismantle this show's potential. Who am I to spill Speak, I apologize, speak illy of this show. For who am I but nothing but a jealous soul who fears that he will not be able to show off his passion into the world. Throw it into there and let it out for fear consumes me as well and that I will be made fun of just as Ellis Mark was. I'm sorry for any attacks on Ellis Mark's character. I really do mean that. I should not have made those kind of jokes. For it was not my place. I don't know him personally. And I hope he didn't take them personally. Because I'm just a stupid, stupid puppet. In somebody's game. And I just repeated words I had heard. So yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. Not everything has to be perfect. Sometimes you can love something for what it is and not for what it's not. And sometimes you have to consider life as the same. Not everything will be perfect. But you have to take the good with the bad. And I think it's a valuable lesson that I had to learn for myself. Because this show, I truly believe, will help the lives of many. As I've seen in many comments, people find this show relatable. People enjoy these characters. And that's all that matters. The fact that it brings at least one person joy. One person. Because joy is the most infectious thing you'd give to any, per any person. I'm sorry. As you can tell, I'm not the greatest speaker on that you'll ever see. Or hear. And I'm sorry. But I hope that me speaking from the heart will make up for any of my shortcomings. Because as you know, or actually, you don't know because I don't know what I'm gonna do from now. Ever since I made that video, I've been lost. In my own anger and, and pure... Pure anxiety of how horrible I am. For what I have done. And I really am sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. I never meant to hurt you. I never ever meant to hurt Ellis Mark. And I never meant to hurt myself. I am so, so sorry. If there's anything I can say that I haven't said already, it's... I'm... I'm not proud of myself. So I hope you can forgive what I have done. I guess I have said that. I'm sorry. It's just when you're so emotionally vulnerable, you don't really know what to say anymore. And that's how I feel right now. I feel at my wits end. Like nothing's going to get better. 
And it's all because I had to be so negative on this show. Why? Why did I do that? There was no reason for me to do that. For this show is completely fine. There was nothing bad about it. Nothing outrageous about it. All I was trying to do was tell a story. And what do I do? I rip out the pages and I draw all over them and I try to glue them back as if they were mine. And I am not proud of myself at all. So do what you will with this video. Make fun of me. Belittle me. Just say I'm an all around awful person. I know. I know. I know. I'm aware of what I've done wrong. And I hope, I can only hope and hope that I will know what not to do next time. I have learned something valuable from my mistakes in the past. And this is no exception. That video from months ago, it'll stay there as a reminder of what not to do. Because when you are lost, when you have nowhere to go, that video is what you look like. You look like a low life, stuck in a crater, yelling at cars from the side of the road. And that's no way to live. That is not a way to live. There's just so much that could be said. There's so much that could be done. But not enough time to say it all. So, as we come clearer, <laughs> as we come clearer and clearer and closer and closer to the end of this spiel, I really do hope that you people can apologize to me. Apologize for me. Sorry. I hope... I'm sorry. I just... I hope everyone who's here... It could accept my apology. And forgive me for what I've done. Because... Once again, I am not proud of what I did. Because I... I cannot believe I said those things. And I can't believe I thought, yes... This will make a great video. It did not. It did not at all. I appreciate anybody who enjoyed the video. But I am no longer proud of it. And that is not a commentary on your character or person. Because I bet you're just as good a person as anyone else is. We don't all deserve to be discredited for what we do. But we all just need some love and affection sometimes. And sometimes we just don't get it. And I understand the struggle. The struggle is a hard one indeed. A very hard one. So take solace in this fact. I have suffered for what I have done. And I recognize that. So as for now, I thank you for anyone who's seen all of this. I felt as if it would be appropriate to play it over the first pilot episode of Catching Up. Because I really do believe Catching Up has the potential to be a great show. And I should not have said all the things I had said about it. Or of its creator. I am sorry. I'm sure you and your wife are very happy people. And I shouldn't have said anything at all about them because it's not my place. Thank you so much for sitting through that. I felt as if I needed to put my emotions out there and let them stay there. Because we as people need to grow. And I think you'll agree. I'm sorry, but... 
this is a very hard thing to say because it's very hard to let everybody know how flawed you are, but I put out I'm sorry. I put my heart out there. And I hope that for anyone watching, you as well can do the same. Thank you. And we will be missing that worm. I presume. Thank you. I really do hope that we could all just be friends someday. So let's show some positivity and love. Thank you.